Hey everyone, welcome back to Unsolicited Bourbon Reviews, episode 48, and today we're reviewing Wilderness Trail Bourbon Whiskey. Uh, so this is a fairly, I want to say new product, um, but Wilderness Trail, they're out of Danville, Kentucky. Um, they started back in 2013, and they're, they are getting pretty popular, at least in this area. Um, I'm starting to see this stuff more and more. Um, so this particular expression is a four-year bottle and bond. Uh, this is a wheat. So again, this is a, we'll see a little bit more different craft distilleries they want to do. Um, kind of venturing in, in a wheat expression. So again, um, you see a lot of four grain, but there's not a whole lot of uh, three grain wheat mash bills that, that are out right now. Um, that at least are super mainstream like this. So uh, the yellow label is pretty popular. Um, and then the black label as well. So they're both, uh, I think this is a four year cause it is bottle and bond. And I think the black label is a six year plus. So, um, I went ahead with the, the yellow label, uh, when I saw it, it was a little bit cheaper and considering I never had it before, don't really even know anything about it. Um, decided to do a first time Friday on a Monday. So this particular mash bill is 64% corn. 24% wheat and 12% malted barley. So um, I don't think we've done a wheat expression or wheat bourbon that was missing um, rye. I think we've done a lot of four grains that had uh, corn, wheat, malted barley, and then rye. Um, I think, I don't know, maybe Makers might have been one of those, but definitely we haven't done it in a while and I don't really recall. So this should be really interesting um, to review today. And again, this is something I'm seeing more and more. Um, you know, in this area, and I, I'm, I'm sure it's starting to gain some popularity, kind of, at least in the southeast. So, um, while this kind of ch continues to chill a bit, I think from a marketing perspective, I do talk about the bottle and what they look like. So again, this is something a little bit different um, that, you know, does, you know, catch the, the attention. Um, and then, you know, it kind of talks about what it is, this is a sweet wheat mash. So again, um, we talk about a sour mash, but I don't really think anything has been advertised as a sweet wheat mash. So um, this is gonna be 110 proof. So this is 50% um, alcohol by volume. So we'll go ahead and jump right into this. So the initial nose itself, um, very caramel. Um, it does kind of have a weird, I don't say weird, but kind of a floral scent. Not, not, not super, you know, distinct, but just, I think it does kind of have a floral and you're not really going to get that citrus or the dry rye because again, the rye is missing, missing from this mash bill. Um, but definitely get the hints of oak. Some vanilla, a lot of camera on this. Um, for 110, I don't have the ethanol that really jumps out to you. Um, uh, you know, one one would think. So again, this would probably give me some indication that it's probably be pretty pretty smooth. So, all right, let's give it a sip. First sip, it does feel dry. Definitely kind of makes my mouth salivate, kind of water up a bit. It does kind of have that bite. You know, even though it's a four year expression, it does feel a little young. Uh, usually some of the stuff, I definitely feel that 110 on that first sip and some of the stuff that we've done before to where you don't quite feel that, that hug, or the, alcohol, the ethanol burn, alcohol burn until after the, you know, towards the finish. So I kind of felt it on the front end, a lot of caramel, some vanilla. I do taste some of that oak, but I think it kind of gives you that very dry, um, not necessarily bad, but just, it's, it's just different. It's just, um, you know, pretty unique. And, you know, usually a wheat, uh, wheat bourbons are a little bit softer. So that's why, you know, Makers is super smooth, super soft, and it's a, it's a, it's a wheat bourbon. Um, so I think with this, we'll try it again.
This does have some good, it, it, it's, it's pretty good. It's, it, it is sweet. Um, a lot of vanilla, a lot of caramel. I kind of get a bit of a, a little bit of a butterscotch or kind of a honey taste to it. And it kind of finishes that kind of dry oak at the end. Um, not terrible. I think this is a pretty good, pretty good buy, especially as a, something I really know much about. Um, you know, I'd probably recommend, I'd probably explore the black label, you know, when I finish this. But, um, so for price point, this was kind of expensive. So this was in the 55 to 60 range. I think I paid 55 bucks for it. So for price point, I'll give it a six. Cause I think Makers is a lot better and it's cheaper and they get the same proof, especially with the cast strength. Um, taste, I'll give it probably like a 7.5. We'll meet in the middle. This is a, a hard seven. So if you get your hands on it, Wilderness Distillery, Wilderness Trail Distillery.